Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 15. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the GT National Championship. We're going to be taking the Mitsubishi Lancer again because I absolutely adore this car. I've customized it with a metallic blue paint, so it looks very nice now. Uh, I've also put on uh, some, I think they're Avant rims, these ones. Um, I thought that would be more suiting than uh, BBS rims. And also, we have a meaty spoiler on it as well, which looks crazy. So, we are going to be doing this, the GT National, starting out in Silverstone, moving over to Apricot Hill, then Mount Panorama. I am really looking forward to the Mount Panorama race. Then to Monza, and then finally finishing off at the Brands Hatch GP circuit. Um, so we need to make sure we are 500 or less with sports hards or less, which we have. We're going against approximately some Charger SRT8s, uh, a M3 Coupe, and a Toyota Supra RZ, which I think is the classic Supra. Um, so we are going to enter with this Mitsubishi and hope for the best, pretty much. I am hoping that we get a very good... Um, chance with this. I'm worried about the SRTs more than anything. Because um, if we get an SRT, we might struggle to go against those. But so far, we don't. Yes, we do. First place is Challenger SRT. Uh, we got a couple of Fair Ladies. Um, a Skyline GTRM Nürburgring. I think that's an R34. Uh, and an NSX as well. So let's do this. Right, let's do this. Look at the size of the wing on this thing. <laughs> I didn't realize how big it was. That is crazy. At least we've got additional downforce now. Here we go. Very good around that first corner there. I'm kind of sad that it's not the full Silverstone circuit. I would have liked uh, three full laps, but I'll take this. Right, come on then. Let's go. Awesome. Come on, let's squeeze past. Perfect. Oh, very wide there. Okay. And wide there as well. I don't think anyone can actually stay on the track for that corner there. Perfect. The big wing Mitsubishi is coming through. Nice. Bring it down into second. So yeah, it was a R32. Uh, not R32, R34. Did they not get Porsche um, in this game then? I thought they would have got Porsche in this. Awesome. Right, this looks like an SRT up in front here. Oh, that engine though. Go, 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 go. Come on.
Awesome. Right, let's see if we can catch up before we finish this lap. We need to overtake ASAP. Come on, come on, come on. Speed. We've got the meaty wang on the Mitsubishi now. Come on. Hey, we got it. Just got to keep the lead for now on. Awesome. And coming across the line, let's go. Nice, finish. Let's see. Oh, okay, nice. 1.8 second lead for that. Look at the size of that thing. It's just massive. Look. <laughs> that is crazy for a wing size. Oh my god. Right, let's take the 14,000 credits we were rewarded with. And go to race number two, which is going to be... Let's see. Because I've already forgotten. Apricot Hill Raceway. Right, here we go. Apricot Hill Raceway. We have the big wing Mitsubishi. And we're going to win this race. Let's do this. Time to shine. Oh, not great. Oh, bit of contact through there. Not proud of it, but I don't care. I don't care. I love it. I wish we started in first if we were first in the championship. Or like we started in order of the championship, like second place would start last kind of thing. That corner could not have gone better if I tried. Coming up on first place already, and we haven't even finished the first lap. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Nice. What are you doing? Watch it, Jesus. One thirty eight point one one nine. Hopefully, we can destroy that time. There we go, nice. Perfect. Right, slow down for here and here. Nice. Oh, get around the corner, come on. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Coming up to the chicane section. Nice. This lap is going really well. Hopefully we can destroy our time now. 10 seconds. Not 
Not really destroyed though. Only 1.5 seconds. Nice. Smooth and steady always wins the race in this game. Perfect. Come on, slow down, quicker. Awesome. I think that was the best line we've taken through that section yet. One thirty four point one three two. Very good times there. Right, let's move on to the next race, which I think is Mount Panorama. So that is going to be very fun indeed. Right, let's do this. Race number three at the Mount Panorama circuit. There's the NSX in front of us there. See, who can we overtake? We've overtaken the NSX in one go. Very nice. Stick in behind the fair lady. See if we can draft and move out. We don't have much momentum on the rest of the cars. I think I might go back behind the fair lady. And we're drifting Tokyo Drift style. That was very good through that section there. Holy shit! Without my way. Without my way. Right, we need to catch up with the R34. <coughs> the Mitsubishi has to beat the R34. Easy. Come on, come on, come on. It's got to add the sound effect. Got to add the sound effect. This is good. If you can take these S bends as smooth as possible, you're a good driver. Honestly, I love this track to bits. It is amazing. Right, come on. Remember, we've got three laps for this one. Okay, so this car definitely can't make it around that corner. Uh, that first corner. So, we're going to have to slow down a little bit harder next time. So far, we haven't crashed a car. And now that I've said that, I've jinxed it and we're going to crash a car. Right, let's go. I have a feeling we won't have slipstream back here, so that car is going to make some distance, and yes, it is. It is making distance. And slow down here. 
That was perfect braking distance. The fact is, Gran Turismo, the braking line is for the smoothest. Um, obviously, we're sort of like oh, pushing the limits of the car every single time. But I feel like I need, still need the braking line to judge where my overshot braking point is going to be. I just wish it was there were braking only lines in this game. But to be fair, I don't really use driving lines that much. I zone out of the driving line. I take my own driving line and just use the braking line as a reference point. Perfect. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. We are picking up speed. Right, lift, break. Perfect. That corner could not have gone better if I tried. We are five minutes into this race so far. And we have one more lap to go. Let's do this. Perfect. I would like to try a lap from this angle, but I feel like it would just be counterproductive. It just wouldn't work. It's not a camera angle I'm one used to and two can actually drive on and missed the breaking point. Was not concentrating, nearly killed myself. Nice. I feel like with um, Gran Turismo 6 compared to Gran Turismo 5, the pacing is sort of a lot better, and the fact that they put the uh, performance restrictions on really does pace the game very well for um, picking the right cars. I do want to see what a Bugatti Veyron is like under like a 10% performance restriction. That would be pretty cool. Because obviously the Bugatti Veyron weighs like nearly two tons, so it would be pretty cool to see that. But coming onto the main straight now. We are looking very good here. Right, we have to make sure we lift at this section. Lift. Break. Perfect. Here we go. That was perfect, that lap. That entire race was perfect. There wasn't a single problem, except maybe the um, second corner on that last lap was a little bit of a problem, that overshoot. That was very good. 11.5 miles. Big Wang Gang. Let's take our 14,000 credits and then move on to the next race. I cannot remember what the fourth race is. We're about to find out. 
Oh, Monza. Yes, I remember now. Awesome. I'm looking forward to this race. Right, we are here at Monza. And look at the Mitsubishi go. At the back of the pack, as always. When are we not at the back of the pack? Off we go. Why does the total time start from, like, when the camera loads in? It's a bit of a weird time to have it load in. Awesome. Come on, let's squeeze past. There's a car in my blind spot. So I can't move over until... He is now gone, which is perfect. What are you doing? Why did you break so late? Wow. Definitely was a bit of a corner cut there. Awesome, right. Let's have a look. We just hit the one minute mark on this lap. Porsche Boxer up ahead or the RUF equivalent because this game doesn't have Porsche licensing. Why was Porsche not in so many racing games? Like, it's just ridiculous. They pulled their cars from so many games. Test drive. Both of them actually, both test drives. Uh, what else? Forza didn't have it for a while. And um, they charged the licensing so expensive that every single Porsche had to be a DLC pack into a Forza Motorsport 7. I don't even think. I don't even think Gran Turismo PSP got Porsche. I think they also had RUF as well. Here we go, slowing down. Come on, Skyline, let me pass. Right, we'll stick to the slipstream. Perfect. That is a very good line there. Right, let's see if we can get some more positions. Hopefully we can. Holy shit, that was close. Come on! Speed! Because we need to get that... Um, well, I'm aiming for 100% stars for this one. Because I feel like this game is much easier to get 100% stars. Just because the way the game flows, it's actually very well designed. Um, so hopefully uh, we can get 100% stars. I think there's like 600 stars to unlock. But also, we are aiming for uh, getting all the cars too. So there's going to be... Um, how many? I think there's one for when we finish the next race. Um, because then we'll have all the stars for National A. I still can't believe we're only on like the third championship. Like, third series. 
The fourth one is International B, International A is the fifth, and then the final one is the Super Series. But I still can't believe we're not still only halfway, and we're on episode, I think today will be episode 15. And it's only gonna get, oh, sorry. It's only getting longer from here on out because the races get longer. There might not be, it might be the same amount of races, but each race is longer. So, fun times. I would appreciate if you slowed down a little bit quicker next time, car. Thank you. Nice. Big corner cut there. Nobody has to see that. Don't worry, we don't have the FIA on our ass for that. Perfect. Maybe you didn't need to shift down to second, but I feel like that was a very good corner. And where's the finish line? Ah, oh, just a little bit slower than the last lap. Literally 0 0.005 seconds slower. 5.52, 5.55 5 seconds gap. And we are now moving on to the Brands Hatch GP circuit next. I do remember that one. First place, we got 76,000 credits in total so far. Let's go to the next one. Right, so we are here at Brands Hatch. It is nighttime, and I actually had to turn the performance limiter down from 71% uh, where it was before for the maximum of 500 performance points, all the way down to 70% uh, horsepower. So we lost about five horsepower. Um, but the reason is, from the last race, the car was 500 performance points, and then this race, for some reason, is 501. And I have a feeling it's because of, like, um, the wear of car parts, which then puts your performance rating up, because that's how the game works out or something. I don't know. But all I know is I had to turn it down. I've turned it down, and we now have five less horsepower. But it shouldn't be too much of a difference because this car is a beast anyways. We're about uh, 358 horsepower now. Oh! Going a bit wide there. Nice. We have four more cars in front of us. Brands Hatch is a very nice track, though. Here we go, slow down. This track is a difficult section because you don't realize how tight some of these corners are. Like, they throw you off guard big time. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Right, stick behind this car. Stick behind the Boxster. Right, right behind the Skyline at the moment. I'm sorry, Skyline. I did not mean to tap that ass. Did not mean to do it again, actually. I don't want to crash into everyone when I take a corner. 
It's toxic. I don't like it. This is what Forza does to me, though. Everyone's so toxic in Forza. It's disgusting. Awesome. Perfect. Nice. The lighting is so weird in this game. Like, nighttime driving is realistic. It's much better than Forza's, anyways. Because Forza's, you just get blinded at, like, sunrise completely. At least I can actually see something with this. Come on, we gotta overtake this final car. Right, onto the brakes. Slam. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, come on. Oh. At least uh, going off road in this game. The car is at home. Come on, let's do this. I'm actually excited to see what the um, Collecting All Stars car is for this. I'm actually really excited to find out because we have just collected every single star. Go for a little drift at the end there. And we have a gap of, you gonna tell me? 8.3 seconds, awesome. Look at that. I will take my 14,000, please. Thank you. We're at 90,000 total. Three stars. 500 points overall. And we get the win. Let's get that gold trophy. First place. Very nice. Extra 20,000 credits. Awesome. And then as well as getting that, when we come back to the home screen... Do we not get it? Ah, here. No way. That looks awesome. An RX. Oh, that looks sick. That looks awesome. An RX7 race car. Sick. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the mission races. We have five missions to do. First off is Brands Hatch. And we're going to be driving the Megan RS Trophy. We're aiming for a 29.5 seconds. Let's go and do this. Mission race A1. And here we go at Brands Hatch. Uh, what I am going to do is make sure that all of these I have my traction control on one. Um, so that gives me enough so that I don't constantly spin out. Um, but still is, isn't is taking away all of my acceleration. Right, let's do this. 29.5 seconds.
gone off track. Yep. Disqualified. Right, let's try a little bit more slowing down this time. Perfect. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, all oh, twenty-nine point seven. I feel like we could do a lot better. All right, let's try one more, t one final attempt. Oh, 29.544. Right, um, we can do this because we went off the track twice whilst doing that. So we can easily get this. Maybe not. Might have to stick with silver for now. But we will try and get that on a, another episode. Or another off camera, probably I'll do that. We are aiming for the gold though. Because you get gold whenever you get all the mission races. But not... Whenever you do the mission races all gold and the license all gold, you get a car. Everything else you don't, uh, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, but next up, we are in a Firebird Trans Am, and we are going around the circuit of Madrid. 35.5 seconds we're aiming. Right, let's do this. Madrid. 35.5 seconds we're aiming for. Out of my way. Ah, oh, no barrier collision. Oh, why did the car not turn? The car just didn't want to turn. It was just like, nah, I'm on strike today. Keep it, keep it moving. Thirty four, thirty five point one one one. Get that gold medal, gold trophy. I don't know why I keep saying gold medal because it's a gold trophy. So should probably stop that. But we got ourselves six thousand three hundred credits. Very nice. Right, let's see what the next race is. The next challenge. Back to menu. Challenge number three is going to be around Matterhorn. We are looking for a 37.8 in a BMW Z8. Okay. Right, let's do this. 37.8 seconds. And we have three cars ahead of us. Oh, because it's convertible. It's a bonnet camera. Okay, fair enough. Oh, off track. I wouldn't have said that was off track because there was quite clearly two sets of wheels on the ground. So, 
Look how wide this car is, for example. It's ridiculously wide. Come on, squeeze through, squeeze through. Thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. Just got silver. I feel like gold will take a very long time to try and get that. So we're going to skip that for now and go straight onto the. Uh, I hate the look of the Z8. I'm so glad they didn't make that into an actual car in the end and like continued that. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the fourth race now. Race numero four. And this is going to be the KTM crossbow for this one. And we're aiming for 38 seconds. Right, let's do this. KTM crossbow. I do not like the fact that we are so low down. Do not push me off the track. I had plenty of space there. Thank you very much. Seven. Oh my gosh, we actually did that first try. I felt the car slip and thought, oh yeah, I've lost it, but I managed to regain that control. But I seriously thought I just lost the car then. It was just going, whoa, 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 sideways. Right, 67,000 credits so far. Let's exit, go to the final event, which is going to be a full lap battle, I think. I think they're normally a full lap. Uh, we are on Willow Springs with the Corvette Stingray, the C7, which is a very nice car and obviously was a concept for this game. I actually think this is the cover car for um, Gran Turismo 6. Um, I will check on that, but I'm pretty sure the cover car is the Corvette Stingray C7. Um, and obviously this is a 2014 car, so this is obviously a concept car before the game came out. So uh, we are aiming for a 132.8, a 134.5, and a 1. Right, here we are. We are driving the Corvette now. Off goes the Z06, I think. And off we go. Perfect. Our Corvette is obviously that little bit faster here. I feel like that last corner there, I always mess up because it is such a tricky corner. Well, it's not that it's tricky, it's just it's such a long sweeping turn. And it's a tight sweeping turn as well. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. Yes, thirty two point two four seven. Just got it. Awesome, gold medal. So we've got two more golds we have to earn off camera, but that is not a problem. Bam 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 bam. 
Right, exit. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.